Hi there, Flat Cap Chef, and uh, I'm going to show you how to prepare swede. Now, uh, one thing people often ask is what's the difference between a swede and a turnip? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, swedes are typically orange in colour and turnips are typically white. Swedes are much bigger and uh, the turnips are a little bit smaller. So this is a swede. So we can see it here. Now, I've actually had this one in the cupboard for about uh, a month deliberately just to show you that actually when it doesn't look particularly good on the outside you can see that this is looks a little bit soft um, actually it's like as long as you press it and it remains firm it will be absolutely fine on the inside so what I need is a, a sharp knife and a heavy knife I've got the heaviest knife I've got here because you'll find that sweet is quite it's quite tough to cut through uh, and I've got a peeler so first of all we'll take the ends off so take this end off and this end off so holding it firmly, and I've, I've, I've made sure I've got my mat on a, on a towel here so it doesn't slip around, because you want a firm surface for cutting these. So in we go. And second layer off. There we go. And then we'll take this end off as well. It's quite tough as you can see. There we go. As you see on the inside, it's absolutely fine. Now, you can use a peeler to do this next stage. You want to take this outside skin off. So you can use a peeler to do this, like so. I like to get it down to the kind of orangey color. So take the white off the outside. You can do it this way. Or alternatively, you can use your knife. I put it the big side down and you just work your way around the outside. This is perhaps a little bit quicker, but you do have to have some knife skills to do it. But it means if you haven't got a peeler, you don't need to worry. There we go. Get your fingers well out of the way. Peeling it around. Usually a little bit left around these edges, so we'll just trim those off. Putting it up this way. Fingers well out of the way. Here we are. That is now ready to be chopped up. So let's put this into the bin. Green bin, if you've got one, that's great because this is a vegetable, so you can recycle this. This kind of size will be enough, standard size you'll find in the supermarket. Uh, that'll be enough for uh, probably four people to have a little taste. Now, so I've got this and I want to halve this. So I'm going to put my hand on top of the knife, through the middle, hand on top, fingers out of the way. You can see how tough that is. I've now halved it. <clears throat> Gives me the flat edges to work with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into roughly uh, one centimetre wide pieces. Same approach, hand on top, fingers out of the way. There we go. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them into again about one centimetre strips. Okay, and then again this way, so we've got these pieces here now. And I'll take those, do those into roughly one centimetre cubes. And there we go. Done. Let's do this one. Speed things up a bit. And once you've done this, we're going to put this to cook it into a pan of lightly salted, so you know, a half a teaspoon of salt, um, and we're going to bring it to the boil, and it's a bit like cooking potatoes uh, for a mashed potato. You're going to cook them for around about 15-20 minutes until the fork or knife point goes easily into the cube, okay, and that will be then cooked and then we will mash it. 
So here we go. I'm not going to show you the second half, it's exactly the same. And that is Swede prepped and ready to go. So if you like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, and I'll show you another video uh, shortly on how to cook this and create some lovely mashed Swede.